Soccer 605 here with Nicole Pearson, uh, Harrisburg goalkeeper who got a little bit of work today, but your defense took pretty good care of you too. Yeah, they did amazing. They got every ball that I couldn't possibly couldn't even get. They ran after all the balls, the long balls. They it just was amazing. I couldn't do anything without them. Well, you know, you made several really heads up saves though that really saved the day for your team. And you know, I haven't talked to one goalkeeper yet this year that likes playing against Pierre. They know how to shoot those rockets in there. I know, like the one where they were gonna, sh where they were gonna almost tip it in to the net. I was so scared that it was gonna go in, just hit the crossbar and go in. But I backed up just a little bit and I ended up tipping it over the net. Well, you know, uh, you got to get it as a keeper. You got to get it done any way you can, and sometimes you got to do it with your face. Sometimes you get to do it with your hands, but it just has to be kept out of the onion bag, doesn't it? Yes, it does. You know, I remember last year when you came on, uh, the starting keeper had a concussion. You came on, kind of got a baptism of fire, and and you got to kind of uh, feel a little bit sorry for Pierce keeper because she stepped in the same way as an eighth grader. Yeah. How would, you, how would you like being in this kind of environment as an eighth grader? Well, I always think it would be kind of scary because um, on the JV team we have an eighth grader too, and I know it's scary for her because she doesn't have the experience that some of us other goalkeepers do, and so I, it just for me it would be just plain scary. Well, you know, I thought she handled it really well, and once you're out there, you know, you don't really have a choice, do you? No, you have to go after every single ball and some of it just... Well, you know, a lot of players your age are starting to kind of think about what they're going to be doing after high school. I don't know if you're giving that any thought or not, but uh, any ideas yet? Um, yeah, I've given it some thought. I'm still on the fence of whether whether or not I want to play soccer in college. I'm not quite sure, um, but I do know that I'm going to go to college at USD. That's where I want to go. So. Well, that's my alma mater, so yeah, we'll both be yotes. Yes. Okay, well, Nicole, I'll let you get with your team here, but uh, boy, what a splendid job today. You uh, you know, you and your team got done what you needed to get done, and uh, so you're, you, you, you're still alive. Thank you. Good luck next week. Thank you. South Dakota, you've waited long enough to have your very own sports network, and now you have it at Sports 605. Find us on the web at sports605.com and make sure you like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Every day is game day on Sports 605.